Hey there! In this video, we're going to talk about local notifications. It's going to be a short tutorial to show you how to set up a local notification for your mobile iOS app. Stick around, it's going to be really interesting. Well, hello there. Uh, my name is Eugene. Welcome to my channel. This is my channel where I talk about software development and uh, particularly iOS and how to make your product better, how to make yourself better, and how to set up those local notifications for your mobile app. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that bell notification button so you get remote notifications on your iOS device every single time I post a new video. So let's get started. Before we jump into coding and setting up local notification, I think it's worth mentioning that there are two types of notifications for iOS uh, devices, for iOS ecosystem. And there are remote notifications that you will receive when uh, an event is happening outside of your um, outside of your mobile app, for example, uh, the triggering event is outside like outside of the app itself. For example, you receive a notification, uh, you receive a text message, or uh, you, like your status like whatever your order status change or something like that so the server will trigger a notification and notify you and that would be remote notification and it uses there are several ways to set it up but uh, it's a remote notification local notification uh, triggered by the app you can two things that you need to do you need to register for your notifications and schedule uh, your notifications. So depending on how you set up your app, how you set up your notifications, uh, you can make it in, in, in one go, just register and schedule at the same time with the same like uh, with the same button or or whatever. Or you can break it apart into two parts, like you can register and schedule for a notification. So uh let's jump into coding and i will walk you through thoroughly how to set up your local notification it's going to be really basic really simple tutorial uh, you can add complexity to that i will provide a link for github project in all um in the description for this video so uh you can um you can just like go ahead and um, modify the project and uh, take the necessary piece of code that you need and apply it to your project. Let's go. Well, for this project, I highly recommend you to go to my GitHub and uh, download this project. I will post a link in the description. Um, so you can go ahead and clone it and just follow along the code as you go and just for the time's sake and just so we can skate we can focus more on uh, the functionality of the code itself and we're not really wasting any time typing out the code so here we have an app uh this app will schedule will register a user for notification so like i said before uh, in order to trigger local notifications user must register for uh, for um, notifications they have to grant permissions uh, for notifications so you user can uh, receive notifications uh, user should uh, schedule a notification and uh, there are several ways to do so. I will talk more about it when I will go through that particular code. So, but like as of right now, it's a very simple UI. It's uh, on the uh, back and background uh, image is uh, um, it's just an image that we set up that I set up on the storyboard. So like nothing really, nothing really um, complicated here. Uh, 
I set up uh, if you if you look at my uh, if you look at my UI here uh, I set up two buttons register and schedule notifications and I set up them programmatically so I use closures when I set up my UI elements it's just easier it's just my personal preference per, uh, personal preference so um, I set up everything programmatically here, like title, color, corner radius, uh, target, um, and a very important detail whenever you set up your UI element programmatically, uh, you should mention like, you know, in the iOS community, you would call it TAMIC, uh, translate outer, outer sizing mask constraints equals to false so basically it means like do not provide any auto constraints to that this element i will do it myself so that's why you have to specify it to false and whenever you uh whenever you do your ui programmatically you have to set up your constraints uh, um, uh your constraints and anchors in code we will touch it a little bit later but I'm not gonna focus too much uh, and not gonna talk uh, way uh, um, way into details into constraints because this video is about local modification so uh, and whenever you have closure you have to re return your element so if it is a UI button it, sh it should be UI button and uh, uh, open and close parentheses here so the same for schedule button the code is almost identical so uh, if you like just FYI if you want to do like uh, round buttons like something like that so feel free to grab this code and like use it so pull up to you like it is it is ready for, like, it is ready to use so you can utilize those buttons in in your project and you specify uh, width and height as you need for your project so feel free now um view to load on view to load uh, we just have our we just have our uh setup button so we're just setting up our UI so and for these uh, for the uh, UI setup uh, when you do your UI programmatically so like whenever you use storyboards you use a uh, uh, you use outlet so I create outlet for the image view so we can see that image view and for the buttons I set up buttons programmatically that's why I need to add it uh, at our view our buttons to uh, as an as a sub view and I need to uh, and I need to provide constraints so I use this method and very convenient so you, you don't have to do uh, each and every constraint step by step you can just throw them into uh, into an array and it will be activated automatically for you because when you do like constraint by constraint there are chances that you're gonna forget about certain like certain constraint and sometimes people forget to uh, activate them and so it causing problems so like this is how you constrain your UI again uh, download the code look how I do it and feel free to use it so it's really it's, it, it, it's really really cool so now now we're gonna talk about uh, local uh, notifications so uh, in order to work with local notifications you have to have free work as a local and uh, for local notifications um, so center uh, UN user notification center current so and for uh, registration we're requesting authorization from the user so we requesting alert badge sound and you can actually specify as many options as you want so uh, there's not a right or wrong um, and there's not a right or wrong way of doing that so and then you have a closure here uh, like granite and air so if user if user grants your uh, if user is granted permission 
uh, then you uh, can perform certain actions here I just print register if it's not happening if it if it fails then I just say hey like fail register so again and the code is not as complicated center request authorization and you provide options for what exactly you are requesting notification uh, authorization so and with a pop-up with an alert it will show you that for what you're requesting notifications so very important but very 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 simple code now schedule uh schedule uh schedule local notifications so now we configuring our um, notification center the same code as we saw it before uh, notification center current current remove all pending notifications so basically if you receive many like notifications before in the past so you don't want to clutter user notification center so you want to clear out your notifications so remove all the notifications that user received before so it's just a pleasant user experience now uh, you set up that like notification uh, UI part and uh, your title normally it is like um, like a couple of words really ideally here we have you have an appointment body you have it up what you have uh you have upcoming appointment with your doctor um uh identifier is alarm so user info and i'm setting up user info manually so for real project again it can be like database or um or however your uh however your uh particular project is set up so but you can specify here user info then then uh, you can specify which sound you uh want to perform i use default so um now uh how we trigger notifications so you can trigger notifications with the calendar notifications so and here we can provide like an hour and a minute so and uh, if you look here uh, if you look here and let me choose and come in this line so uh, date matching data data components you can repeat it so if you have your alarm set up for every week like for every day so it's basically repeating that it will trigger that notification at that time and for a repeat most likely will say true so uh, uh, now uh, for this video and for 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 simplicity's sake I just say hey uh, interval like five like five seconds and we can actually we can actually repeat it so we can see how like how it looks when your notification is repeated every five seconds so just for the sake of this tutorial then you set up your request so with the your request you have to provide your UID and your UID as a string context so it is uh, it is gonna be your context like right here so you're gonna provide the whole the whole setup for your content for your notification so ton, content trigger and tree uh trigger this is our trigger for so like for every five seconds we're gonna trigger notification so this is our trigger and for the center you say at request so i didn't talk about this little function so let's talk about it so uh if you go uh, if we schedule the notification again just wait for five seconds uh, if you schedule a notification again so for view uh, so for view you have uh, just one button that says open app 
and that button has identifier that will say show so when user taps on that button it will it will open up it will open the it will open the app itself so basically uh, very similar how we um, um, the same idea with uh, how you set up your alerts the same idea works here so you set up your button and button uh, is title and you provide your options and again for the foreground and disrupt disruptive wherever whatever options you need to provide you can provide there and also you can provide category so identifier we already have identifier alarm actions actions show and uh, identifiers empty array we don't have any identifiers options it's optional you don't have to provide it like and for this tutorial say I provided allow announcement allow carplay obviously I can demonstrate your carplay right now because I don't have carplay but you can specify options it's for more advanced features for more advanced options for your local notifications so then you say center set notifications like category now um let me bring the app again um i will schedule notifications and i will trigger it again so now to understand this uh this piece of code and we'll say hey like uh what do i do with it with notification so if we say um if we say if we've received notification we gonna we're gonna uh, uh we're gonna provide a uh, customer button data but the response for this notification so uh the case number one uh user swipes uh um uh, uh it's like a swipe uh, swipes to unlock uh whew. user swipes to unlock then um it, uh, case show that's when i show you that button like open the app so this is case show and we provide uh and we provide um a button like open the app button so it's basically how like it's basically how it works so let me uh build my app again so we can schedule uh we can see how uh register and let me show you something uh let me show you something i will erase settings for this device oof yeah i know So like I will erase settings for this device and um, I will show you the initial alert when user uh, requesting uh, or uh, when user is trying to register for notifications and I will build my app again. It takes some time to load. All right. I hope I won't get any weird crashes register so like now we have notification might include alert sound icon badges these can be configured in settings and this is basically it to local notifications i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye